Hey guys, I'm G-Shock. I'm here with uh, Team Rocket at the Road to BlizzCon in Prague. And uh, these guys unfortunately um, actually got kicked out of the tournament, but um, I think they, they're having a pretty good time. Um, but I mean, for you guys, you are basically of the old man's club um, as far as esports is concerned. Uh, is it good to be back on stage? Uh, it definitely feels good. I don't remember when the last thing was. Like we had DreamHack uh, for Heroes, but uh, yeah, second Heroes event so far for us, and uh, this one went better than the last time. So yeah, we're really glad to be here. All right, and what about the new guys? <laughs> uh, yeah, I really like the stage. They really made an awesome stage for Heroes, and I really enjoyed the event overall. And what about you guys? Yeah, I would have been really sad if I wouldn't have played on that stage. Because two teams, they weren't able to play on the stage. And I always enjoyed it playing in front of a crowd and or from League of Legends or other EVA, other um, games. I really always enjoyed it playing in front of a crowd. So I was happy to at least get one game um, on the stage. Well, we played the group phase in backstage. And yeah, my 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 only goal was like to play on stage and we made it we won yesterday two game uh, two best of threes backstage made it to the stage played there unfortunately we lost to dignitas but yeah keep heads up so do you guys have any uh, ambitions as far as offline tournaments goes uh, do you have any tournaments that you want to go to next or um, what's what's the plan yeah we'd like to go to blizzcon <laughs> and win that one <laughs> Okay, we'll try to make it happen. Um, all right, let's talk about the game a little bit here. Um, do you guys feel like pros can differentiate themselves enough from casual or not casual players, but regular good players, rank one players? Uh, for sure, I think. Um, like in every other esports title, I think it's you see a huge difference in skill. Um, I mean, all the moves that player um, do on, in very high level, like the rotations, the movement skill shots, how they juke, how they use their cooldowns, I think is much better as on uh, the average level. And <coughs> maybe overall it might look a little bit easier than, for example, Dota or League, but I think Heroes has his own things that are very hard to do and very important to do, and maybe just not figured out enough yet so everyone uh, sees it straight away. And um, do you think that the scene has finally stabilized enough? I mean, we saw it in the beginning. Teams were always changing around. Um, yeah, basically players just switching teams back and forth, sponsors dropping out. Um, are we finally at a point where the scene can um, kind of sustain itself? Uh, yes, a bit, but I think we're going to see a lot of roster change in other teams after this event because they just want to be the best team and... They know now that they won't be the best team, so there are probably going to be a lot of roster changes and like teams that dropped out early out of this tournament or didn't even make it to this tournament. But coming to spawners, I think it's stabilized quite good right now. Uh, we have a lot of high or good and well-known organizations um, having good teams, so yeah, it's looking pretty good and it's getting better and better. All right. Um, and you guys think that it's professional enough already? I mean, especially for you guys, you've like have been in esports for ages <laughs> and um is there enough is there enough money in heroes already or um is there still way to go uh i think it's decent by now um it still has its way to go especially compared to the big players in the esports scene right now but, yeah, but it's it's a growing um it's a growing game and yeah we're on a good way and uh, I want to get into your daily life a little bit. Uh, what's the day in the life of a rocket player like? Uh, maybe for you back there. Uh, yeah, I wake up, eat, then play like 10, 15 Hero League games. And then there is like in before practice, I eat again and then practice with the team. And yeah, then it, the day is already over and I go back to sleep. Like there, there's literally no time as a pro gamer. Um, all right, let's keep compared to his day. Uh, but um, are you guys uh, all in with this, or um, 
do you still have something on the side like st uh, studying or um, school? I don't know. Yeah, like I'm working. Like I make Ausbildung. What's Ausbildung in English? Oh, like uh, not an internship, but like regular apprenticeship. Yeah, apprenticeship. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm I'm doing that, and like I wake up at like 5 a.m. Go to work at 6 a.m. and come back at 4 p.m. and then try to pl play some games with my team. But I think, like, soon there's a point where I have to choose my way, like pro gaming or my working career. And yeah, because right now I feel like both ways are not going. Like, yeah. So a little bit of a conflict there between real life and your esports life, um, and what what's your family stance and friends stance? Like, do they uh, do they get along with that, or um, are they like completely surprised, astonished by you making money of esports? Well, as long as I mm, I take care of my work and my friends, my parents and my yeah, they don't care. Like, actually, right now they're like they went crazy like i'm going to prague i was in valencia and they was never expecting like from a video game that and well yeah <laughs> so uh, what do you feel about the general state of the game uh, do you feel like balancing wise it's in a good state uh the frequency of patches and uh, the way blizzard handles um stabilizing the meta or uh, changing it up uh, is in a good state or um, should there be more stuff done on Blizzard's side? Mm, I think overall it's pretty good right now. We have a very um, large uh, map pool that is also plays very differently. And for the hero pool, like we got some supports lately, which um, shaked up the meta a bit more. Johanna, Leoric as well. Before that, um, in some draft formats, there was the possibility that you get outdrafted by supports. Uh, if you bun two and then you pick two, then there was only, I think, Lily left. And that's not the case anymore. So things changed a lot in drafts right now. And I think it's in a good state right now. Most of the maps, besides maybe Haunted Mines, um, are played by all the pro teams. So I think Blizzard did a good job so far. And what about underused heroes, like heroes that haven't actually seen any play uh, in the meta? Do you feel like these heroes sh uh, should be buffed up a bit so we actually see them? Or uh, are you fine with just having them there and maybe they'll come back into the meta eventually just by um, other nerfs that might come into place? Yeah, yeah, I think some heroes will come back uh, if like the meta changes or like other heroes are being played and then you can play them as a counter. I think that's a good possibility, otherwise buffs are always fine, but you should not overbuff a hero, because then like other gets nerfed and then it might be like the best cha best hero in the game. I think that oh happened three. to, I don't know who that happened to, but it happened to one hero. Um, so yeah, you, you need still need to be careful with balancing heroes, but I think so far we have like three or four really strong heroes and then everything else is pretty fine. And then we have like three or four heroes that are never played, but I think that's a good quote so far. And uh, what about heroes like hero design overall do you feel like uh, some of these heroes might be a little bit too uninspired their abilities a little bit too boring or do you guys only care from a pro perspective okay as long as he's efficient as long as he's actually fulfilling his role he's in a good spot or are you bored by rexa for example because i i was pretty bored just playing him rexa you said oh that's a perfect question for billy <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I really like the design of Rexar, and with the next patch, they are changing the way Misha is getting used. So it's actually I tried it, and it's pretty good. So we will probably use him in with the next patch in competitive. Um, and one uh, more s strategy or tactics uh, decision that you guys make, um, how does the communication work in a pro team? And how does it work in your team specifically? Um, well, we talk a bit about the draft before the game, uh, make a general plan on uh, how, how it starts. 
ability is uh, doing, doing the main decision there. So we give some input, but here's the final say. Usually get very good drafts and in game. Uh, everybody says some stuff. You all gotta say, uh, like, I have this cooldown ready up, or I'm gonna stun that guy. They're focusing me, I need a heal. I'm out of position, or that opponent is out of position. Um, or also suggestions on where we should go. But uh, usually teams have a main shot caller who d um, makes the calls, what sh we should do. And I mean, the other guy guys call as well, but there's one uh, main shot caller. And who's that for you? The Mr. Billy, Sport Billy. To to my left, that the one that's awfully quiet right now. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, and uh, I talked to Team Liquid before, and they were actually quite keen on playing on the PTR if they do have the time, not in before uh, in between tournaments, but like if there's nothing on the horizon, they like to play on the PTR. What about you guys? Do you enjoy playing on the PTR, trying out these changes, specifically these new changes that are coming in with the dev timers and with that level scaling? What do you think about these changes and um, do you play on the PTR? Uh, I only played on the PTR once last patch. I played a lot of Kerosene, I tried out Kerosene. Um, so far we didn't really have time to check out the PTR too much because we were boot camping at that time. Um, but mostly what we do on PTR is we go in try mode and try out stuff and see how it works, if there are like any new builds, um, does the hero still do damage, um, is there anything else we can maybe make use of another build. But yeah, we try at least them out in try mode and see for the next patch if we can still requip something together. Otherwise, uh, for me, I don't really play any games on that PTR because... I'm not a big fan of quick matching up and also there's a big like the queue time takes quite a while if you want to play the new hero. All right, you guys look quite tired. I think uh, it's good a good time to call it a day. Um, are you going to be here tomorrow to watch the finals of the event or are you going to uh, enjoy Prague? Uh, yeah, we'll go out and uh, enjoy a bit of the city, I think. Uh, get a good rest and uh, yeah, we'll definitely be around for the finals though tomorrow. Play some Overwatch maybe. Sounds like a plan. Uh, any shout outs to sponsors, friends, family, whatever? Well, shout out to Rocket for all the support and like there's no better organization I could imagine like playing heroes for and yeah, shout out uh, wishes to my family, to my friends. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> all right, thank you for the interview.